He did everything a man was supposed to. He always respected and loved my mother, a hard worker. He did everything he could for his family until he couldn't lift a finger. But something that he did that still sticks with me is how he would wash his face in the morning. He would wet his face with lukewarm water, lather his hands with soap, and rinse it off with cold water. In that order. I'm 63 now and I still do it the same way. Same soap, same routine. My father never did anything wrong. He taught me the difference between right and black. Between white and black. He told me that we are the best gifts on earth and that we shouldn't have to share anything with black people. Not schools, jobs, or bathrooms. My father's ways are still present in this 21st century. I can picture him reaching for his towel to wash him, to dry off his face, and look at me with one eye open and smile. I will do everything to keep my father alive. Especially since he put his life on the line and made sure this country had everything it has now. Our blood gold goes across the flag like it did on our faces in the war. Look at me, he was saying. And we stare with our cold blue eyes and blank smiles. We would never accept you, black people. I am America. We gave black people enough time to leave. To flee, to breathe. And you black people got the nerve to say that you can't breathe. Please. As if we ever took our feet off of your necks. As if a microphone will have anyone hear you. I have watched my father blatantly tell black people to go back where they came from. And I know my father is rolling in his grave to know that as a black man in the White House as the president. blood out of my mouth if I finish that sentence. No coincidence that many young black people are dying. <laughs> you call it hunting season? And it is. But the million dollar question is how many more examples of young black deaths does it have to be to make you see why this is happening today? Think about it. Since we can't touch the black man in the White House, we will take out as many young partisans that we have to. In my father's honor, for America, I will gladly wash my face and rinse it off with cold water because I'm angry. Everybody wasn't happy about the emancipation. I would gladly do the same things my father did and tell these black people to go back where they came from. We don't like you here. We never did. The same way my father 